What's up everybody? Welcome to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing the PowerSmart 21 inch 3 in 1 Gash Push Lawn Mower. I'm happy to be able to do a review for this company. So let's get started. We're going to do a full testing, unboxing, well, in this order. Unboxing, putting it together, testing, and then I'll give my full review. If you're interested in this mower, you can get it for a really good deal right now. And maybe even if you're watching this a year later, it doesn't matter how long, there still might be a sale going on. The link is in the video description where you guys can get this. So go check it out. Okay, so just to go over everything, I think I put it on right. Um, <laughs> I think it, everything goes just how we did it. But uh, so for th this, you pull it out. It's very simple. Pull it up slowly. Don't pull it real hard, and then you simply just put it in here like this. Loop it in, and you're good to go. Um, so for this RL, slide it out, put the two bolts back in, uh, there will be two bolts in here, you take them out, slide this, pull in, put the pull down, put the bolts back in, same for the other side, these go on here, so you just slide the bolts in here, twist it, and basically everything's good to go. Make sure you put oil and gasoline in your mower before you try and start it. Um, so far everything's pretty simple. The wheels look really cheap on it and this handlebar here is tight and it's hard. So we're going to be putting some rubber on here because that's uh yeah, it's it's not soft at all, so that's not too big of an issue. So let's go ahead and see how this thing mows. All right, so I'm not sure what setting to put it on. Um, one thing I could tell you Everything feels about as cheap as you could possibly make a push mower. Everything so far. Pulling it to start it, we'll see. I'm going to slowly, you know, pull it a little bit, not to start it, but just to get some everything moving around. But the wheels feel so cheap. Everything just feels so cheap. But you know what? It doesn't really matter how cheap it feels as long as it does its job. So let's. Do the first pull. I don't know if it's going to start or not. All right, so here's the deal. You guys can see how it cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so it cuts good. And you can see going up and down two different ways how it looks. I mean, I'm not sure if this is the setting. I want to keep it at the length. Right now we have it set on three for the front and we have it set on one to the third peg for the back. I don't know, you know, if that's what we want to keep. Probably it looks good. Uh, so here you can see how tall the grass really is. So cut, cut down, not cut down. Seems like it does a decent job. Um, yeah, overall I'm happy with it. We'll see how long it lasts. Like I said though, I mean everything seems cheaply made, but if it does its job then it doesn't really matter. It's a 161cc engine, so it definitely has got a lot of uh, chopping power, 
we will use in the side. I got a little oil over here, so don't mind that. Um, I'm going to get rubber or something felt or something to put on here and on here because it is definitely uh, definitely cause some blisters after a while. So, I mean, as far as the quality of everything made, you know, everything's made as cheap as possible. So, oh, there's there's the primer. <laughs> All right, well, I was wondering where it was at, so it does have a primer. I'm supposed to do it three times. Well, it actually started without even doing the primer, so I guess that's a plus. Here's the air filter. Um, so yeah, you know, as far as how it's made, it's made as cheap as possible, so I'm gonna give that a five out of 10, you know, for the build. Probably, actually probably a four out of 10, because these are, these are some of the cheapest wheels I've ever seen. <laughs> But it doesn't really matter. Obviously, if you're buying a mower like this, you're not buying it to be a show queen. Um, it seems very powerful, so that's going to get an 8 out of 10. It seems like it's doing a good cutting job. That's going to get at least a 7 out of 10 right now. I'll know better after I do a full cut. Now, the grass is really tall here, so it, 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 it cut it no problem. So overall, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10 so far. Um, yeah, my the biggest negative feedback would be is it's ugly looking. <laughs> it's not the nicest looking push mower. And it's, you know, it doesn't have the luxuries of some of the, you know, even my $140 push mower, that, well, it was on sale for $140. That was better um, parts than this. But that one, you know, they each have their own thing. This is more powerful, so this has a more powerful motor, but yet it's almost like you're trading options. You know, a higher power motor for less quality of parts. And when I say parts, I mean like the wheels, the bars here, the bars there. Everything just feels so cheap. But if it does its job, that's all it matters. And so far, it was easy to start. Um, so yeah, you know, getting rubber on that handle, that's gonna be the biggest thing. So that is my feedback. I gotta get mowing before it rains. So thank you guys for watching, eight out of 10.